the President of the United States. No, I haven't. <laughs> Mr. President, Mayor Barry, and ladies and gentlemen, I take great pleasure in welcoming you here today to the announcement of a further investment in the young people of our nation's capital that will benefit all of us in the future. As the President will mention in a few minutes, the District of Columbia will receive from the Department of Labor funds to provide additional summer jobs for unemployed youth. I know we all realize how critical getting that first job is. The first job that starts a young man or woman on the road to a, a rewarding career in the workforce. You know, it's that first job that helps a young person develop self-discipline, self-esteem, productive work habits, and interpersonal skills. That first job tells the individual you're worth something in society. Solving unemployment, particularly among our youth, and providing job training has always been and continues to be a high priority of this administration. The Job Training and Partnership Act signed by the President last year specifies that 70 cents of every dollar will be spent on training. And this summer, the administration has pressed strongly a nationwide targeted jobs tax credit program that provides employment for the formal summer youth program. I am honored to introduce to you the President of the United States. Thank you, Thank you Ray and Mary, Mayor Barry. Secretary Donovan and ladies and gentlemen and all of you young guests who are up here and out there. I'm pleased to announce today that $800,000 in additional summer youth employment funds is being allocated to the District of Columbia. When Secretary Ray Donovan learned that my adopted hometown here was running out of money for his summer jobs program, he called Mayor Barry and offered to help. The result is today's check drawn from available funds at the Department of Labor. These funds will be added to the $8.2 million already transferred to the city and should provide 2,200 more summer jobs for unemployed young people in our nation's capital, a city that is very special to all of us as Americans. This money is part of over $800 million that is being distributed nation nationally to enable state and local governments and this will provide an estimated 800,000 summer jobs for young people throughout the United States. Our goal is to offer disadvantaged young people valuable work experience and at the same time provide the community with their services, which I might add will be more than welcome by cities and nonprofit agencies which will be receiving their help. I have to add to what the Secretary said about that, that first summer job. Mine was when I was 14 years old. And I regret that a lot of rules and regulations have changed some things since then because at that time I wound up with a construction company that was remodeling houses and I ended the summer up at my age even laying hardwood floor, shingling roof, painting houses and I know that some regulations make that impossible today. Maybe we can keep on going till we change some of those back again to help all of you. This summer youth program is funded by the Department of Labor and operated by state and local governments throughout the country. It'll continue to be an important part of the Job Training Partnership Act, which will replace the old CETA program this October. But this program is only part of an overall effort we've made to help deserving young people get a start. We put in place a tax credit program that gives employers who hire eligible teenagers a tax credit for up to 85% of the wages of these new summertime employees. In some cases, the credit will enable an employer to hire a disadvantaged youth for the entire summer at a cost of only $260. The young person gets not only a paying job, but also the valuable experience participating in the private sector. The employer gets a young employee the company may not have been able to afford without the tax break and everyone's better off because of it. 
We've made a special effort this summer to focus business and industry attention on this problem. The White House Office of Private Sector Initiatives and the National Alliance of Business have been in the forefront of this drive to give those young people who want to work this summer the chance they deserve. My White House Office on Private Sector Initiatives has been doing a tremendous job. I know that because they've enlisted me on a number of occasions on this particular issue. As part of a well-coordinated program, I've written 5,300 chief executive officers of companies across the country asking for their support. I've been making videotapes and phone calls to jobathons in order to kick off summer job efforts in cities across the country. Along with Bill Kohlberg and David Roderick and others with the National Alliance of Business, we've reached out and I'm proud to say that the business community has responded. Companies like McDonald's, which hopes to provide 30,000 additional summer jobs. Mobile Oil, which donated generously to meet the challenge. The New York City Partnership Summer Jobs 83, headed by Philip Morris, has provided over 15,000 jobs for young people. And with us today is Hank Buda from C&P Telephone of Maryland. His blue chip in program in Baltimore has been a tremendous success. All of these private initiatives and many, many more like them presented here today, or represented here today, I should say, deserve our thanks. All of these efforts, coupled with the tax credit program and yes, the economic recovery, have had an effect. We're just now emerging from one of the most frustrating times in our country's history. After years of economic uncertainty, of devastating inflation, business stagnation, ever-increasing taxation, and a resulting drop in investment of high interest rates and declining stock prices, we began to turn things around. It wasn't easy, but together, all of us together, we've got the American economy on the move again. While we've been trying to straighten out the situation, we know it's been a particularly hard time for the unemployed, especially the young. Economists tell us the unemployed are the last ones to feel an economic upsurge. But we all can be happy that last month, total employment rose 1.2 million nationwide. Clearly, the federal funds that are being allocated to states and local governments are important to the young people they help. But we also want to take this opportunity to highlight the private initiatives that have been taken throughout the country as well. And now, Mayor Barry, it's my pleasure today to give you the check that will make this summer a lot nicer for so many of our local young people, $800,000. <laughs> I was tempted. I was tempted to leave for California, but it was made out so that I couldn't. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President, and to Secretary Donovan. Uh, let me say, Mr. President, you've brought uh, California weather to the District of Columbia, but we <laughs> love it and we appreciate it. I'm just honored to join you and Secretary Donovan to receive this check for $800,000 in additional federal funds. This bonus, I'm proud to say, will enable us to hire 2,200 more youth this summer who ordinarily would not have worked uh, this year. Uh, we understand that we're receiving this bonus grant for the second year because of the effective job that the district summer job program has done in placing our young people in meaningful work experiences. Uh, last Wednesday at my monthly press conference, I announced that we had some 22,000 young people who had applied for summer jobs. We were only able to place 18,456 young people in these jobs. Uh, with this additional 2,200 young people going to work, it would take us over the 20,000 mark, again, achieving both of our goals of trying to make sure that every young person who wants a job uh, can get one. As has been pointed out, this is a way to learn job skills, working together, uh, good job habits. Uh, let me also say that this begins to put a dent in our large unemployment uh, picture in the District of Columbia. Over 40 percent of our young people are out of work, and obviously this won't solve the entire problem, but it goes a long way to begin to help it. Many of the additional jobs today's grants have been designed by the Associate for Renewal and Education. These young people, Mr. President, will be involved in meaningful work, such as uh, computer literacy, uh, re remedial reading, uh, library work. We have a project called Project Fairbreak uh, in terms of computer learning, the future 
of this country is going that way. Uh, we are working awfully hard to spend as much of our local monies as we can. Uh, this year, we contributed $5.3 million out of our own budget towards this effort. That translates into 7,500 jobs. Uh, we believe that summer jobs are important, as has been pointed out by you and the Secretary, and the growth of our young people. I believe very strongly in them. They're not only our future, they are our present. And unless we prepare them adequately now, their future may be dim. And so on behalf of all of us who care so much about our young people, on behalf of the residents of the District of Columbia, uh, I'm glad to accept this check for $800,000. And let me say that uh, if there's any more uh, available, <laughs> uh, we'll take all you can find because our young people are ready to work. Again, Mr. President and Secretary, we thank you for this. I want to thank my directors and others who uh, put together an effective program. More importantly, I uh, would like to uh, say to our young people, we have a great deal of faith in you. We're going to continue to work with you to make sure that you get adequate training, adequate uh, work habits, so that as you go into the world of work in the future, you'll be ready for it. Again, thank you very, very much, Mr. President. Mr. President, I'm Bill Kohlberg. On behalf of the National Alliance of Business, I want to say there's nothing more important to the business community than summer jobs for our young people. You mentioned the cooperation with your private sector initiative staff. I'm happy to report that our estimates across the country, Mr. President, are there's a 25 percent increase in the voluntary hiring of young people by the private sector. We come to that estimate because we have had loaned executives from DuPont, uh, Sun, uh, Woolworth calling, following up on your letter to chief executive officers. They've made a thousand calls following up to the CEOs of those companies, to private industry council chair people, and they find a renewed enthusiasm for this program as our economy comes back. You mentioned, Mr. President, a number of companies and, and communities that have exemplary records. Let me add to that list very briefly, if I may. In Chicago, Sears Roebuck and Continental Bank have spearheaded the United Way campaign, I'm sorry, United, uh, Chicago United campaign in that community and they find that they will produce 20,000 jobs this summer in that city, up from last summer significantly. In St. Louis, Anheuser-Busch, Ralston Purina run their own program in that community and also run programs in other communities. The honor roll, Mr. President, is very, very long and I don't want to leave anyone out. Let me just quickly tick off some other companies. People are here that represent these companies. AT&T, Pillsbury, Georgia Power and Light, Xerox, TRW, ABC TV, and Internorth. Again, Mr. President, we believe that we have a very important, very large voluntary effort. Your emphasis on voluntarism in our society has caught on anew with the private sector, and we believe that we will produce a far larger program than we have in the past, thanks in no small part to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> got the money and, I got the money. <laughs> and they get the job. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Thank you all for being here. Nice to see you. Thank you very much, President. Well, Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Okay. We so did. We're moving again. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Go get him. I am. You'll I see. see it. Oh, yeah, you're going to drive over yourself. Should I follow you? Yeah. You know where it is? Right, right behind. Yeah. See where the tree is? They have all the lemonade yeah, in the world. Right, right under that. <laughs> <bed. laughs> okay, well, we, we are right outside the driveway. I'm just saying, you know, quite scared. You all are sweating sweat enough to get their drink. Do they know? Does my, do my people know where it is? Well, we want to get out there. Is that air conditioning? Did you live or something with my door? Maybe I should get one. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. Okay, I'll see you later. So, so what do we do? We just go back to where we came from. Bye. <laughs>